Hi, welcome to excel.com. Today we are going to learn about sort function in Excel, which is a dynamic function. Now, what is a dynamic function? Basically, normally when you put a function, you get the result of the function in that same cell, right? But in a dynamic function, you get a result of the function in the cell and also the following cells below it. So let's learn about the sort function. So this is my data. I'm just going to copy the headers and I'm going to paste it here along with the column bits. So I get the same column bits there. Now to this data, I want to sort it, but not within this, this data. I want to sort it in a separate data set. So right now the data is sorted by the bill ID in the ascending order, right? What I want to do is I want to sort this data by the SKU, which is the product name, the SKU name. And within that, I will also want to sort with the city, which is a second level. So first we will learn a one level sorting and then we will learn a two level sorting. So to do a one level sorting, you got to use equal to sort. The first thing that it asks for is the array. So we'll go and select the entire data set. I press control backspace to come here. So we select the entire set without the headers, comma. Now I want to sort this by the J column, right? The SKU name column, which is the 10th column in the ascending or descending. If I want ascending, I'll put one. If I want descending, I'll put minus one. It's not zero, it is minus one. So I'll put one for now. I close the bracket and press enter. And you see that this data has got sorted by the SKU name in the ascending order. Interesting. So I had to put only one formula here and all that data in the other cells got created. So if I put minus one, my data becomes in the reverse order. So this is how you create a sorted data with a sort function, but with one layer right with only one layer. Now we're going to create a multi-layer sort. So I wanted skew name wise and then within that city wise, right? So I'm not going to use the sort function anymore. See when I delete that function, everything is deleted. I'm going to use the sort by function. Again, and this is the first thing is array. So I'm going to take the array, control backspace. Now see, I have taken A2 to L9855, all right? The first array that I want to sort is the SKU name. So I got to select that entire column control backspace, comma. I want this in the ascending order, comma. Next, I want the city. So I'll go to the city column, select that same entire column, comma. Here I want it in the descending order. So I'll say minus one, all right? This way you can add multiple columns, comma, comma. After you're done, you close the bracket and you press enter. So now what you have is first the skew wise and within that city wise in descending order. So here after you see SSSS, which is again in descending, then you R, then you see P, then you say O and so on. So this is how you sort on multiple layers. Thank you for watching. Please like, share and subscribe the video to share it with others. Thank you so much.